ready? Since ancient times, fish have been associated with fertility, and there are stories of Native Americans helping early pilgrims by telling them to bury fish near their corn crop to help bring nutrients to the soil. At Aqua Ranch, Miles Harston has a new approach to using fish in food production. I've been growing fish since 85, and I started experimenting with aquaponics in 92. We started at this location about five years ago. Aqua Ranch is where we do aquaponic growing of food. We uh, grow tilapia here, and then we use the aquaculture water to grow plants. So in other words, we feed the fish, the fish feed the plants, and the plant roots clean up the water for the fish. This particular setup is organic farming, but it's, it is actually a higher tech organic farming, so we, we try to get the most production out of the least amount of ground, the least amount of space. In these grow beds we have about 10 inches of water and the roots just freely go down right into the water. They get all the nutrients So they're not they in soil, they don't need to be in soil? No. We start them in a little bit of soil, this is called a net pot right here. Huh. So we start them in the soil. How do they not get flooded or drowned? Certain plants do well just having all the water you want to give them. And so what are the benefits um, of growing produce with the fish waste as fertilizer as opposed to in the ground or with synthetic fertilizers? One benefit is that we don't have to discard that fish waste into the environment. The average salmon farm today puts enough raw manure, raw sewage, into the environment to equal a town of 65,000 people. And they do absolutely nothing to clean it up. And they could be using this as food for they plants. Could, they could be. Concentrated fish waste is basically concentrated sewer. It, it, it becomes a pollutant. Uh, we're able to use it as a commodity. In nature, there is no waste. There's every waste product it becomes a benefit for another event that happens in nature. And that's what we try to do here. So on the produce side, you can control all the inputs. You have very, in a sense, pure and fresh ingredients that are going into it. Um, and that gives a great taste. But you're also selling the tilapia that you're using. That's right. We don't have any, uh, any exposure to uh, the, the farm runoff, heavy metals. We're not doing any of the genetic manipulation of the fish, which they're now doing. And then we don't do the hormonal manipulation. And very often in traditionally raised fish, they're using hormones to stimulate growth. And then they also do what's called the sex reverse process. In tilapia, the males grow faster, so they change the females to male, and that makes them then grow faster. So that's why we spawn the fish ourselves so that we can ensure that there's no uh, hormonal manipulation done. If I do anything to the plants, it'll affect the fish. And if I do anything to the fish, it'll affect the plants. And so I have to keep a balance. There's a little kitty hiding in the corn crop. I think she's trying to tell us that uh, this is her property. Oh my god, she has the, most, the coolest yellow eyes. Kitty, here. Come here. Come here, kitty. Hi, we know this is your corn crop, and I know you're really protective of it. She's trying to let us know who's boss of this farm. Hey, kitty. 